The media reported last month that Russia had, quote, stepped back from participating in the Financial Stability Board, FSB, but it is still listed as a member. Should Russia be removed from the FSB? Well, certainly its role should um, be, mi be minimal. Well, I would hope it would be removed from the FSB, and this is what this leg the legislation does, that passed unanimously out of, um, out of committee. I will hope that the administration, and I believe that, the, the, uh, that it has indicated such. You know, these are not unilateral decisions of the United States, and each one of these organizations has its own set of membership. But we need to make a strong stance ourselves as leaders um, in we, these organizations. We, we've made clear that we do not want Russia to participate actively in these organizations. So that would be the FSB. Later this month, the IMF and World Bank will hold their spring meetings. Will Russia be re represented at those meetings, even virtually, and will you urge participants to refuse interacting with Russian officials? Well, Russia is a member of the IMF, and um, in spite of the fact that the great majority of IMF members, um, I think, agree that Russia's actions are horrific, um, it doesn't look like it would be possible, given the rules, to remove Russia's... I, I, I understand that, but, but what I'm saying is the U.S. Has, must lead and be strong in mm -hmm. our resolve on these sanctions and in... in making them the pariah in these we, organizations. So I would, I'd hope that you would urge participants to refuse interacting with Russian officials vis-a-vis -vis the IMF and World Bank. We will denounce Russia's actions in all of these four. Thank you very, very much. Um, moving on to China. As you know, China has faced major challenges in its real estate sector, including debt problems at one of its largest developers, Evergrande. China's opaque lending uh, abroad creates contingent liabilities of unknown size, and Chinese regulators have warned about a rise in non-performing loans. Beijing has also announced restrictions on private investment in news media, which would only tighten the Chinese Communist Party's control over information and make China's economy more opaque. In your view, Madam Secretary, which parts of the Chinese financial system pose the greatest risk to stability beyond China's borders? And what is Treasury doing in the FSOC, the Financial Stability Board, and elsewhere to mitigate this risk? Well, I, I do think that there is significant risks in the Chinese financial system, and the property sector is an example yes. of one where there are severe risks. Um, and importantly, a slowdown in the property sector beyond its global implications um, would probably weigh on China's uh, growth outlook, which would have impacts on its economic partners. And this is something we're carefully monitoring. If you have any other information um, on that, I, I'd appreciate it. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.